Subscribe for more NBA playoffs. Dwayne Casey, we expected adjustments. That's one right off the bat. Get the non-score of Bruce Brown out of there. Put more offense on the floor. Jackson, starting point guard at the controls, picked up by Bledsoe. Those two have had battles all year long. Kennard, that's why they started him. A three. Starting Brown's got to do a much better job staying in contact with him. Lopez off the glass inside restricted area basket for Brooke Lopez. Bucks two for two defensive end of the floor that they did it in the entire game one. That is Andre Drummond from Wayne Ellington. Actually, Drummond did a better job than Thon on Giannis, not saying a whole lot. Forced Giannis into, into some tough misses. Reggie Jackson for three. And I look for this team to play it, and not so much a fast break type of increased pace, but just look for that open shot quicker. Nice job, nice speed, nice finish. Another and one possibility. Driver, he's playing into your hands. That's nice by Bledsoe. He was in trouble. Snapped it back, and Middleton drains the three ball. I guess you know him like the back of your hand, too. You played with him in Detroit. So if you're the Pistons, you're feeling much better about the start here in game one, as a skip game two, as opposed to game one. Andre Drummond. Pat Hamilton. Well done. Just keep forcing the issue. Kennard not happy with it. He thought he was fouled. Connaughton leads it to Lopez. Deep three. Yes, mm. off the glass. In possession. Connaughton. Ball bouncing the Bucks way right now. Chris Middleton. Great, great hustle. At times, as Iliasova has it knocked away by Galloway, at times you have to manage your supremacy in a game. Yeah, you do. And like that, manage your supremacy. Step back beyond the three-point line. Now they're banging around as Giannis landed the rim. Bledsoe coming in from the other side. He has 10 points. Mid-range jump shots. Giannis took one that time. Bledsoe going a 15-foot of miss. Here's Smith. Mike Budenholzer takes a time. Don swatted it out of bounds. Bucks start with nine on the shot. Oh, Giannis! Oops! Oops! Pace by the Pistons. Brown scores. Giannis tried to swat it away. National League MVP Christian Yellich. Just acknowledged by the crowd here. The defense, Connaughton. It is over. Connaughton. Acknowledged by the crowd here. The defense, Connaughton. It is over. Connaughton. Brown getting to Lopez. Brown took it away from Lopez. And that's what Bruce Brown does. Bernard for three. That is the 20th committed in the game by Detroit. Here's what you got to do. Slow it down and find the mismatches. Find the mismatches. Middleton found it. It was his man, Galloway. Lopez opened. Missed the shot. Reggie Jackson. And Ilya Silva says not here. Not now. They always say a series starts when the road team wins. So the Bucks want to keep this one from starting. Luke Kennard leads Detroit with 14 points. Middleton 15 for the Bucks. Back and forth they go. Jackson gets downhill. The bench players, Connaughton, Sterling Brown. 39 of the 58 points from the big three. And now it is 41 of 60. Productive lineup. We'll see how long Dwayne Casey elects to stay with this. Andre Drummond on the flush from Reggie Jackson in game one. Ball came right to him in front of the Bucks bench. Yes. Bledsoe right, weaves his way to the middle. Timeout taken by Dwayne Casey and the Pistons. Official and grimaces. Now come on. Hey, this is playoff basketball. Get used to it. There's that delay, that delayed roll. See Reggie Jackson holds on to the ball. We talked to him. I told you we'd see a lot more of that. I saw that just watching film. A lot of openings for Andre Drummond. Lopez inside. You know who that reminds me of a little bit? Lopez finds Giannis. He sees a wall. Drummond goes down. Giannis. Man, 
I don't know what that was. And you're, you know, 6'11", 280 pounds. The fish is not going for that. Giannis has big, strong hands, but he can't do that. Well, no. Time maker is all over Middleton. Bledsoe somehow keeps the dribble, puts it up, and hits the three. Oh, wow. Well, talk about a bailout three. That's a big play. One on three. One on two. Giannis and, and then Brooke Lopez back defending. Giannis, yes. 21 for out of the two ball. Five minutes into the third quarter, the Bucks have outscored the Pistons by 12 in the period. Big lane shot and make Wayne Ellington. It's well executed because they knew Giannis was going to back off of Lynn Robinson and Hill. Hamilton, well done. 6 5 against Justin. Bretzo steps in front of this. Giannis out of the two ball. And almost forced a timeout by Dwayne Casey. Smith over the top of Lopez. Little floater hits. Get a better shot than that. That's, that's Chris Middleton, corner, three-pointer. Not closely guarded. Nice job. That's a beautiful pass to Glenn Robinson by his Smith. He sure is. <laughs> that's the kind of way you'd like. Well, not the scorebook as much as the box score, right? Yeah, yeah, the box score. Excuse me. <laughs> Chris Middleton. 83 71 18 for Chris. Really need that from him in this situation with no Giannis on the floor, no Chris on the floor. Seek and you shall receive. I mean, he is. Glenn Robinson gets two out of that for Detroit. Bucks keep up this defensive pressure and they will execute at this end. Really get some separation. George Hill drives to the rim, 87-74. You know, they, they, they may have just kind of hit that ceiling in terms of playing as well as they could play. This is get back into that zone defense. This Smith picked up his oh, second there he is. There he is. Down. He's okay now. Screens out top. Bucks out scored to drag 22 to 11 in the final, 826 of the third. Got to give it up, get it back in the flow. Bruce Brown Jr. Well, he can't hit shots and nails a three. Am I correct that typically that eats up a little bit of the shot clock when you switch? It just delays things a bit. Bucks able to score. Down about three feet further from the basket than he normally would have. Than he normally would have been. First team foul, fine, make it. As you tried to draw the foul, gets it back. That was very late on the shot clock to the point where they will replay that basket. Has presented some issues for the Bucks. Held the Bucks to what 20 points in the quarter. Oops. Goodbye, buddy. That is a one you want. Not going to get a much better look than Nico Miracic. The wide open shot. Reggie Jackson Here gets it. to the rim. Here they come, Jim. It's about defense. Hey, you see the Pistons again, the energy. A knack for finding the ball. He leaves it for Chris Middleton. And Bledsoe is inside. He uses the body and scores. Draws a foul. Post that position when he's been front. Good job, Bledsoe. Giannis. Giannis, yes. That trio doing it big time in game two. Pat Connaughton, yes. A challenge by Drummond, he gets the bounce, 108-90. See Brick Brooke miss that ball. Oh! Kennard took that pass, drives, finds Drummond. Drummond meets Lopez. Game one out of the Kumbo, 24 points, 17 rebounds. Tonight, 26 and 12. Where you kind of think? Yes. Right, right in that town where he lived, African American population, Hispanic population. And basketball was kind of the feed him offensively, and a lot of it's kind of the same principles that he uses as an NBA coach. Pat Connaughton rolls on here with 18 points. If you get a chance, you should read the article. It's great. Andre Drummond. 
You know, this whole uptick in Milwaukee coincides with you coming back. In groups of four. But, but, but I have total confidence in this coaching staff that, and medical staff, C.P. Hobson, Troy Flanagan, the performance people on a, a team that you're down by one at halftime, team that held you to 20 points in the second quarter. You figured it out. You came back in, showed the requisite amount of focus led by this guy.